Okay, so in this video we'll be doing programming. So this is the first episode, so let's go to it. Now, first of all, when we're doing programming, we're doing the coding language called Visual Basic. So Visual Basic is a programming language, right? So yeah, it starts over here. Now, there's a big difference between programming and coding. You might be thinking that's the same, but you're wrong. So programming is when you basically coding to design a s app, like an application, a software. All your codes, you're doing it because you're doing an application, right? To making an application, a website. But coding, on the other hand, is the individual codes you do. So, for example, in HTML, we should write body that's open two arrows. That's coding. So, coding is basically writing the code that's in the program. Do you get it? This individual codes you write, that's coding. And then, obviously, when that coding is done, or you're basically making all the codes into a software, into an application, that's programming. So, programming is the bigger picture. Coding is the literal lines of code you're writing, right? So, um, programming is a process of creating functional software. Coding is a process of writing program code, you see. So, obviously, there's going to be different programming languages. If they ask you which is the um, hardest language, you will say that it's going to be C++, right? That's one of the hardest languages. Virtual Basic is what we're doing now. Java, the main characteristic, is very universal. So, like, you can use it um, among a lot of websites. It's very, very good. Uh, JavaScript, same thing, yeah. Python 2, it's hard, you know. Uh, well, yeah, it's saying simple. But it's obviously going to be harder than Virtual Basic. Virtual Basic is the easiest in this whole category, right? Then this PHP is for creating, like, websites, more advanced websites. Now, programming languages for Eastern, yeah, we're doing Virtual Basic. So, Virtual Basic, the reason why it's very, very simple is because the way it's laid out, right? You'll find out that as you do it, it's it's not that bad. Now, see, right now, I'm doing, like, this is the only first that I covered. It's not bad now, but, like, like to be honest with you, if I don't make any videos else programming, then you know, because, like, I'm not going to lie, it's so hard coding. Anyway, that was background talk about me. But, um, yeah, so right now, this thing is very easy to learn all that things. Um, Programming application can be created. So, what applications can you create with Ver visual basic you can do windows application web apps console application mobile apps so the best thing to think about is like computer apps and mobile apps right so you can use visual basic there's a limitation now what does limitation mean limitation means it can't do it now it can't do embedded systems now i might be thinking what's an embedded system it's a very complicated complex system that designed with all different systems working together example a cell phone a cell phone is not just coded in one language. There's different languages. You install it from Play Store. That's another language. There's so it's embedded means everything in, like everything, programs working together, a system. A smartwatch is an embedded system. A cell phone is an embedded system. A smart fridge, a smart robot, a smart head. Smart head, what? Uh, um, but basically everything that's like, uh, like embedded, like together system. Yeah, that's called... Um, embedded systems and using visual basic it's almost impossible to do that right um so examples of application that visual basic can make or can design when you can code it maps applications science business games text editors and so on um now this is extremely 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 important everything we do now is going to be based on all the object objects orientated programming if you don't know what this is it'll be very very confusing now i'm not gonna lie i tried to study this slide like one month back and like i couldn't understand objects so i told myself it's already 12 o'clock at night let me just go sleep and i never touched it until today this slide so um basically what i did is very very easy i told my friend Listen, friend, explain to me, you know, this friend, it, it helps me a lot, you know. It helped me to cheat, it helped me to do projects, like, it's just the best thing ever. His name is Chad GPT. So, I, I told Chad GPT that, listen, yeah, we're going to be pals, you know, maybe explain to me easier what's this, huh? Now, not going to lie, I told it before one month ago, he explained to me at midnight something, I told it explained simple, he's giving me some stupid excuses, but today he's in a good mood. So he explained to me very, very properly what's object oriented programming and I understand completely now, right? Now, the main 
things of you in object oriented programming is objects obviously <laughs> you get it object um, yeah i'm sure you get it and then classes so objects and classes right now uh, i'm just going to discuss this after because object oriented programming the two main things actually classes and objects right so classes and objects right objects see class and objects now you, they're looking at cars over here lines animals made it so complicated i, mean, I just want to know what's this so to explain it very 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 simple huh? and i want you to think about it like this a class is like characteristics of something and then an object is that thing so now you might be thinking what oh let me, let me show you the chat gpt thing the way it explained to me huh? so this is a class right so let's say you have a class <laughs> this is so funny no like when i mean class like a classroom not this class the code class like it's so ironic because like i'm talking about a class a classroom but this is class <laughs> ah that joke never hit anyway not the point point is let's say you have a classroom and in the classroom you have students and you're basically creating a code to put all the students in there right like a website or something so now you're going to have a problem, right? So obviously when you create this code, you need to add each student. And obviously when you add each student to like a website or a database, you have to put all the characteristics of the age, the gender, and so on. So let's say you got this one class. So let's call the class A. Okay, let's call class, or Jamie, yeah. The teacher is Jamie. So Jamie has a class. And in this class, everyone is the same age, 10 years old. Everyone is the same gender, boy. So everyone is 10 years old, everyone is a boy. So what this class can do is this, very, very simple. In class, right, you can put this and then state that the gender will be boy and the grade will be, what grade is it? Gender, I said, wait, gender is boy and then um, age is 10, yeah. So you can put gender of year and age of year right store it over in class now when you're making an object so let's say you get one person student and you're putting him in the database let's say tom if you're putting tom in the database you just have to say student this and done this is an object now if you didn't have an object and let's say there's no object in classes you would have put the student name tom his age and gender the next student his name age and gender his student name age and gender you have to keep repeating age and gender but what class does over here it stores the age and gender so when you over here you just have to reference it so when you say student it automatically fetches the information age and gender for you over here so all you have to do is say student one the name and whatever um, class they are class there and that's done but if you never have um the object and classes this is what it look like see without classes each person you have to put their name you have to put their grade then you have to put their name and grade so like it's so complicated you're going to repeat these names grade and name grade and name grade and name or oh, i mean grade and age grade and age so you get it each student you're going to repeat 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 that information so why keep on repeating that information over and over and over again when you can just put a very very simple line just that line to see what a child or student and obviously all the information from the classes because you reference all the class information is going to be technically stored in the student over here you see so basically students are like a so the way they described is this car so class is a blueprint and these are the objects so obviously all the objects reference the blueprint you see objects the car over here is just a car but now if you customize it, the car can be orange, the car can be green, the car can be yellow. But somehow if you take out the color orange from it, it'll be like that. If you take out the color green, it'll be like that. If you take out the color yellow, it'll be like that. So this um, blueprint, this make or this outline in the object, it will already be there. You don't have to say that this is the outline. You get it. This uh, blueprint right here. Once you enter or reference this class, it'll automatically apply the blueprint. Therefore, when I'm in this object code, I can just say my car is orange. I don't have to say this is the blueprint for my car. I can just say my car is orange. If I never have a blueprint, a class, I have to say this blueprint and orange, this blueprint and orange, I mean green, this blueprint and yellow. 
but because it's blueprint stored i don't have to repeat it when i'm doing the object so it's fast coding so even animal too i can just put all the characteristics of an animal and then a lion elephant and zebra <laughs> it's not a zebra but fox wait is it a fox i think so no is it a donkey i don't know man i don't know but basically what i'm trying to say is when you, you can just say this is a lion this is an elephant this is a kangaroo hey you know what i'm saying but basically you don't have to repeat what you said over an animal so let's say in animal you said um this is an animal uh this is is not a human so it's all stored over there so you can just say it's a lion elephant and this you don't want to say this is a lion this is not a human this is an elephant is not a human because it's not a human it's already stored over there so when you reference it it automatically gets the information from there to you i hope that makes sense uh yeah obviously yeah so um objects now coming over here they are characteristics so as i told you right an object is actually like student when you put his name in short form then it fetches all the information from the class that has all the characteristics already there you see methods also it fetches all the methods now what is a method what is the object capable of doing so um the object will fetch what that should do for example if this was a car it fetches what it should do for example it should drive and so on so basically classes stores everything attributes everything about something and obviously when you just put an object in code you'll get all this information from there you do not have to repeat both of the information in the object you get it because i mean it's it messes up it makes it not good it'll be neater if you just do ob objects and classes huh? um so user interface now what is a user interface user interface basically like this this is a user interface right i can swipe i click an app i can go to the app and so on right? um visual studio is an integrated development environment what's integrated it means everything is there to do to make a whole software a whole website you can code you can change the fonts you can you can basically do everything huh and um yeah that's the end of chapter one i don't know if i'm gonna make any more videos after this because i'm probably gonna get cooked like this is the only time making me confident i know what's objective programming no object programming yeah i didn't know that. also just to confirm those animals i said a kangaroo giraffe i don't know what i said but you can confirm it in the comment section